because they were all first and only editions. The end. Good one, Bat. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Hey, hold on! I still want to see what you got there. No, you're way too young for this one. Oh, yeah? The book that the beautiful and intelligent Betty Ann held in her hand was grabbed by that stupid little jerk Tucker and you... <laughs> hey! How did gotcha! You know? Man, are you predictable or what? She set me up! I don't believe it! She set me up! Not else you want to talk There's always another night. I'm in front of you, dork. They don't stuff on my... Shh. What is Ow. it? We got company. Look. It, it's scary. You think? Yeah. It's it's probably some costume we got from his dad's store. Yeah. He's probably just trying to spook us. Yo, Gary. We know it's you. Cut it out. Cut what out? If, if you're here... Th then, who's the guy with the hat? <sighs> did you do that? Yeah, okay. I confess. Man, you really had us going. <sighs> what is all this? I, uh, found it in a trunk in my dad's store. Help me out here, Sam. It was supposedly worn by a strange order of monks hundreds of years ago. Cool. Yeah. Legend says these guys were truly evil. Stories say they had this magical power to take over people's minds and control the forces of nature. Obviously, they're not around anymore. But I had this idea. What if these mystical monks had so much magical power that they learned how to control the one thing that would make them dangerous forever? Time. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story Tail of the carved stone. Alice and Denny and her family just moved into town. It's tough being the new kid and having to make new friends. Alice knew that. What she didn't know was just how dangerous making a new friend was going to be. I hate this place. Why did we have to move here anyway? TJB was here. Well, TJ, I wish you still were.